Awesome. Musky. Let's go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you guys can tell, we are in the process of cooking a delicious brunch. Brought, brought again. Brought breakfast, brunch, whatever we're going to call it. So, we had these puppies on the griddle for a while this morning. Now we're just going to go through over the open flames and just give them a good char before we put them on the bun. Today's events, well, we don't really know what's in stake for us quite yet. We know we're gonna be doing some fishing. We're thinking about hitting the big water, taking the big boat out. It's gonna be me, Nick, and Bridge, most likely. We'll see if any of the other guys decide to join with us as well. We're gonna polish off some breakfast, hit the big water, and hopefully, we're gonna try and target some smallmouth early this morning, and then we'll see if we wanna switch lakes and maybe get on top of some other species of fish as well. But all I know is that these are looking absolutely delicious. So let's eat up. Hello guys. So, made it to the lake. This lake is actually really close to where we're gonna be camping. It's a bigger size lake. And believe it or not, I've been up here my entire life and I have never taken one cast into this lake. And supposedly it is one of the top tier, like best smallmouth lakes up in Northern Wisconsin. And I haven't even taken a freaking cast. And I know none of these guys actually have. Uh, we're just we're just going into it. It is starting to get a little bit windy out here, but I don't think that'll actually matter. This lake is extremely clear. So a little bit of chop might actually help us. We're gonna be flipping docks, finding some rock structures, stuff like that. And hopefully just catch, the goal is to catch one smallmouth, but I think once we find one smallmouth, we're gonna find a lot. So we're gonna launch the boat, get on out there and see if we can start ripping some lips. And just like that, we're off. You know what you're doing back here? No. New boat. Dad's boat. Dad's boat. No idea how to work it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Big smallmouth. Check this out. <laughs> Big smallmouth. We've tried every Nick spot is snagged. Lake here. Giant smallmouth. That is giant. Not the rod and reel I am used to. Please do not come off. Holy cow. Oh, he's behind the boat. Oh my God. We might have to switch sides, but I'm gonna, I'm, no, 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 I got him this way. Get ready, Bridge. Huge, huge smallmouth. Holy crap. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> my heart is racing. Oh my God. This might be the biggest smallmouth of my life right here. Yep, it is. It is the biggest smallmouth of my life. This is the biggest smallmouth of my life, bro. Let's go, baby. Yes. Let's go. That is a freaking hog, dude. Oh <laughs> my lord, that is a fatty. Oh my god, it is not actually that long, but oh, oh my look god, at the look at the size of that fish. An absolute. Football. God, look at the color. Beautiful. Wow, that, that is a too. beautiful fish. Extremely heavy fish for, it's not short by any means, but. What, you, what were you using? We got live bait going on right now. Got a leech and a VMC moon eye jig with a small piece of Mr. Twister on there. We love the old Twister tail. I actually thought this was a lot bigger when it was coming out of the water. I mean, this is a beautiful tank smallmouth right here. But I was using an extremely stiff, lightweight rod, very short rod. So a little bit different, but it was already rigged up. So I just figured I'd cast it out real quick. We're fishing on a rock bar and this one just came up and blasted it. One last look at this fish. 
before we let her go. Probably pushing four and a half pounds, maybe not quite five. Very close to a five pounder though. Beautiful colors, very red eyes. That is awesome. There she goes. All right, well, hopefully that's just the first of many. We just got to this rock bar. We tried one other area. It's marked a lot of fish, but could not get any of them to bite. Then we come over here on this deeper rock bar, and uh, wow, <laughs> talk about a fight. That was awesome. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is on and off raining here. Pretty dark skies all around us, and the fishing, the fishing hasn't really been that good. We've tried, I wanna say, what, one, two, three, four or five, four or five different spots so far. All different nice steep drop-offs with uh, rock piles. And we only managed that one fish. Now, it was a very quality fish, Brandon's first smallmouth on this lake. Four, four and a half, whatever pounds. Just a nice, nice fish. I just think the weather is not cooperating with us at all. It's like, I don't know, it's 60 degrees right now, probably 60, I don't know, low 60s, windy, on and off rain. Just not good, definitely a cold front. As the week starts to go on, it's going to get better, but one fish, quality size to it. We're close to the campground. We're gonna head back right now and see what the heck the other guys are doing. Cause I did steal my dad's boat when he wasn't there, so he's probably wondering what the heck happened to it. So we're gonna head back and see what they're up to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, we are back at camp. Jim and Diane just made us a mean dinner. We are plump full. We had cabbage and corned beef, and it was delicious. But now it is time to go fishing. Some of the guys have not even gotten a chance to get out there today, like Nick, I, and Bridge. So we're gonna be going to another lake. We actually went to this lake the other day. And we're gonna try and capitalize on some walleyes before it gets too dark. It is about 6.30, almost seven o'clock right now. So we're gonna have to get out there. We've got the kayaks. We've got the small John boats with us. It's time to get out there, see if we can get hooked up. Made it to lake number two so far today. The other guys are out there, both in the John boats already, probably stealing the walleyes that we wanna be catching. But uh, we'll let them have it, I guess, for tonight. Well, we're gonna be rocking and rolling in. New canoe, Frontier 12s, Brandon and I, both in separate ones. We're probably gonna be the ones that are gonna be staying later than these gentlemen out there. Not calling them wussies or anything, but you can almost guarantee we're gonna be out here after dark, probably, you know, looking at the shorelines and stuff like that, like you guys have seen in previous videos. But we're gonna be using jigs and leeches, and I think Brandon was already talking about throwing the old whopper plopper, isn't that right? Yeah, the dirty whopper plopper has to be thrown. It just has to be. So we got a lot of wind though. So we're gonna have to stick to the areas that are not nearly as windy. I'm looking at one bay. I know this bay over here should be calm and the far back side of the lake should also be calm because that is where the wind is coming from. We're currently on the landing and it's blowing basically right at us. So. We're gonna try and get into some calm areas real quick and throw the dirty whopper plopper just because there's a chance at that top water explosion before dark. And then, time for the walleyes. So, let's get after it. Well, Nick and I decided to paddle all the way to the other side of the lake. Our buddies Paul and Gunner are right there. And then Nick's dad and our friend Bridge are past them a little ways, more towards the landing. Basically, Nick and I have gone to this side because it's very, very calm. There's a good chance that there's at least one or two muskies back here in this bay that hopefully are willing to hit top water. This is the weapon of choice for the early hours of tonight. Mine is black with blue, little silverish white bottom, bluegill colored basically. Turns out it doesn't really matter what color you're throwing, even though I am a firm believer in color, not for this. They hear that action on the top of the water and it, oof, it makes them mad. Let's just leave it at that. So 
we're going to go ahead, keep patrolling the shallows, work it out deep, and hopefully before night falls we get hooked up. As you can see, it is now dark, very dark, and the boys are packing up their stuff. We've got the trusty old John boat with us here. This is the boat that Nick's dad, Dave, and our buddy Bridge were fishing out of. Last time you guys saw us, we were fishing out of our kayaks. Now, it's a lot easier to do what we want to do tonight and walleye fish together and film out of a John boat. So, the boys are going to be taking the kayaks back. We're going to be taking out the John boat and just seeing if we can get hooked up with some walleyes into the evening hours. It's probably about, what, 9.30 now? Sun went down. We do have some clouds, a little bit of rain tonight, but hopefully we have the ability to power through. So, let's go ahead. Get everything all loaded up. We're going to get out there and test out the John boat, see if we can catch some walleyes. Oh, yeah. How's it feel? Feels okay. Feels like a fish, which I have not caught in a long time, it seems like. Lots of head shakes. Oh, yeah. Nice wall. I can see his eye. You want me to grab the net? Ah. Uh, do we have a net? Did you not grab the net? I thought I did. I don't see it. Oh, great. Okay, so we have no net. Oh, oh I don't like that. You got him? Oh, let's Woo. go. Jeez. Woo. One thing I must say that I absolutely hate is walleye fishing without a net. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is absolutely terrifying. Especially when you see their eyes and you just, like this is not a huge fish by any means, but this is a beautiful northern Wisconsin walleye, especially for, well, mid-July, which is the time we're filming this. This lake especially, like you can tell how beautiful, this is really gold, dark top, but this lake really seems like it adds a lot of tiger stripe features to all the walleyes, which is super awesome. He absolutely crushed the VMC Moon Eye Jig that has just a neon colored, what is it, just glow the, in the dark glow color. in the dark color. And as always, you've seen it in pretty much every one of our catches. A little piece of Mr. Twister, and then we're using leeches instead of minnows just because it is the heart of summer. So, beautiful walleye. We plan on doing a catch and cook. He's going to be really if, close. If it is under 20 inches. He's be really I don't know. Close. He's. He's looking like a nice quality fish. Do we have... We, do we bring a ruler? I don't know, do we even have a ruler? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna get a measurement on this guy and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. 19 and a half, exactly. 19 and a half. Holy cow. All right. I knew it was gonna be close. Well, that will be, that will be a good eater for, yeah, for the pan, I guess. That's like perfect. We could have afforded maybe another quarter inch or so. That's about it. Three eighths of an inch and it's got to be under 20 in order to be legal. So nice catch, nice. Nick. Thank that you. is a beautiful... First of the night. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This one is going to be going good in the grease, boys. What a night of fishing. Just got to shore, cleaning off Nick's walleye that he caught. Oh, here for quite a while, quite some time. And uh, unfortunately we did not get another walleye, but that's okay. It is really late. We should actually probably check the time. I bet you it's already 1.45, almost two o'clock in the morning, guys. Okay, well, we are going to be packing up everything. We're gonna be taking this one back to the campsite with us. Tomorrow morning, we are going to be having a walleye brunch. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything packed up, and we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It is the next day and we got our walleye here that we caught last night. Like we were saying, it was too late to cut this bad boy up when we got home because everybody was sleeping. But we we're gonna be filleting this up. What we're gonna be doing with this fillet is a little bit different. We're gonna be using some shore lunch, original recipe. And then we're gonna be mixing that with some Doritos spicy sweet chili. We are gonna be pan frying them, but we are gonna be doing it over the open fire. We're not gonna be using a skillet or anything like that. Just because we are up here in the Northwoods and 
figure that would be the coolest way to cook the fish. First though, gotta flay this bad boy out. Should have a decent amount of meat actually. This one was right under that 20 inch mark. And it's not a skinny walleye, that's for sure. It's a nice healthy walleye. Just like that, we are done. Nice and easy just to fillet one walleye. But, as you can tell, a lot of decent meat. I'm gonna have to go rinse it off before we start breading it and whatnot. But for just Brian and I, this is gonna be a nice two pieces each. Or if somebody else wants some, they can take some as well. But let's take our ingredients over, rinse this off. And we're gonna start cooking this. All right. Oh. We are going to take our original recipe shore lunch and start pouring it in here and start breading these fillets a little bit. We soaked our fillets with water. Typically we use milk or you can use butter, egg, whatever you choose, but we're camping so we're limited. We'll just spread some of that all over these fillets and once we get that sticky powder all over them, we're going to be crushing up some Doritos. We're going to be spreading those all across the fillets as well. Got all of our fillets ready to go. Should be coated pretty good. Never had this, so I guess we'll see how that is going to be. Got our pan already. We got our olive oil. So now, in order to cook it though, we have to have fire, which we do not have. I mean, we got all these people sitting around the fire. And there is no fire, so I don't know what they're doing. But we're gonna have to make that, get her started, warmed up, put that on, and start cooking these fish. Very, very hot. So hot that it actually melted our fork a little bit. Probably could have used a different utensil besides a plastic fork to flip those fillets, but that's okay. They are looking very good. Wow. That pan is still very hot. So. Still cooking it. Yep, still cooking. So that's why we take it off the fire just a little early. So there's one more flip there. Oop. There we go. Look at how flaky that is. Just falls right apart. That's when you know. The walleye plates are about done. Looking delicious. You're gonna go for that. No, <laughs> no, like as bad as I want to, it's extremely hot. So, I'm gonna go ahead, set that down, let that finish. We're gonna grab a couple plates and dig right in. They're certainly done. Let's go ahead and do a little taste test here. First bite of the shore lunch and spicy sweet chili Doritos walleye plates. Still hot. It's really good actually. Cooks perfectly. The Doritos give it a nice crunch and a little bit of flavor, but it's not overpowering. It's not like you're digging your hands into the bag taking first I bite of a spatula. Dorito. Is it in there? Jim needs the spatula. Spatula's right here, Jim. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, one more bite real quick. This stuff's pretty good. Like I said, it's still rather hot. Whew. But it's good. I would definitely suggest trying it out. It's got like a little cheesy, spicy flavor to it, but it's not overbearing by any means. Definitely really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead, finish eating these fillets. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, we'd greatly appreciate it if you give us a big old fat thumbs up. You guys are want to stay tuned for the next future videos. We've got some awesome content coming to you the rest of this week. So again, we're going to go ahead, finish eating these fillets. Again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that notification bell as well. It'll let you know anytime that we post a video in the future. And until next time, guys, tight lines from NPS.